All right, David Harry here. So in this video, I'm basically going to be doing three things. Now, the first thing is going to be showing you a router which is being modified. And very specifically, it is a ZTE MC888, which is being modified by router mods using their part modification. The second thing that I will be doing is then comparing the speed of this router once the modifications on it with an external antenna compared to a standard MC888. C888 with its internal antennas and then the third thing that I'm going to be doing is testing this particular 5G mini antenna and this is going to be what I will use to connect to the modified router now this video is going to have like a section which has got like a lot of detail about the speed testing and stuff however what I want to do right now is just quickly go over some important points about this testing and the video and stuff so the first thing is going to be this particular modification to the MC888 here now this is what router mods call their part modification which basically is just to add SMA ports for 5G access to an outdoor external antenna. Now, what's also important about this particular modification is that I think it's probably one of the most important modifications that anyone can get done to their router. And don't forget, router mods can do this to many different routers. Now, the reason why it is so important is because the TS9 ports that are built into these routers typically are super flimsy. And I can almost guarantee you that even just the pressure of like trying to attach a cable to it can snap those off the motherboards. And in many instances, once those TS9 ports, even just one of them have been snapped off, the router can sometimes not even be able to pick up any kind of 5G signal just because the TS9 port snapped off. And I've actually done that a couple of times with different routers. So basically having this modification done just adds SMA ports, which are basically super strong and effectively just will never snap off the like back of your router and stuff. I mean, you would have to really like do something crazy to snap those things off. But that is definitely a modification which I think everybody should have done if they are using like outdoor external antennas or connecting any type of external antennas to a router like this. Now, the second thing here is going to be this little 5G mini antenna. Now, as you can see here on the table, this is super small. However, it is absolutely awesome. And we will get to see that during the testing, the difference that I get by using this. In fact, what I will do, I'll do a cutaway here and I will show you the size of the antenna and I will use a tape measure just to show you the dimensions and stuff. And as you will see, it is super small, but also this antenna comes with some extra bits as well. So it comes comes with two three meter coaxial cables which connect to your router via SMA and then also it comes with a mounting kit and that mounting kit will allow you then to pole mount your antenna which again makes it super convenient and the antenna package itself is just absolutely awesome anyways with that said and done there's probably just one other important thing to mention here and that is if you are not already getting some kind of a 5g signal even a really low 5G signal with your standard router unmodified indoors using its own internal antennas, then I would not advise on just going out and buying an external 5G antenna like this one, only because it still may not work and you know it could be a waste of money for you at that point. So as long as you do have even just a tiny sniff of a 5G signal and you can get clear direct line of sight to wherever the cell tower is for your 5G signal, then yes, that's where it is advisable to use an antenna like this as you will see in this video. So let me get on with the video. Oh, actually, one other last thing here, and this is super important as far as YouTube is concerned. This video is sponsored and it is sponsored by router mods. So moving on to the testing and the first router that I will test will be the unmodified MC888. And as we can see here, the positioning of the router allows it to receive 5G with its internal antennas. 
is. Now what we are looking at is the network information page for the router. And to be clear, I will not be going into any deep diving with any of these stats here. However, if you are interested in such things, then just pause the video at this point and have a read through the stats here and then move on at your own leisure. So now moving on to what I consider to be the most important part of these types of tests and that is the actual speed testing and I do believe that that's probably the most important thing for most people with these types of tests so what I'm doing here is to use speedtest.net for doing the actual speed tests I'm going to run three sets of speed tests and then I will get an average of the speed tests and then I will then use those averages to compare the unmodified router which is what we are looking at right now to the modified router. Now moving on to the same tests again but this time with the modified router and first of all as we can see here this is the modified router and it is also connected to the outdoor external 5G antenna. And then once again this is the network information page and again if you have any interest in things such as the signal to noise ratios and such like then just pause the video at this point have a good read through those stats and then move on at your own leisure. And then as far as the actual speed testing is concerned, once again, I'm using speedtest.net. I'm connecting to the same server and I will run these tests three times over. And then I will get into doing the comparison between the unmodified to the modified router using the averages of the three passes of the speed tests. And so moving on to the comparisons. And the first thing I'm going to do here is just to refresh ourselves as to the positioning and the setups of the two routers so as we can see here on the left is the unmodified router and on the right hand side is the modified router and then once again here is the network information pages for both setups of the router and again just pause this if you have any interest in reading through those stats and then move on at your own leisure now finally moving on to the comparisons for the speed testing so the first thing that we're going to look at here is the ping or the latency results now the unmodified router has an average of 32 milliseconds and the modified router has an average of 33 milliseconds so just a one millisecond difference between the two setups for the router and in practice that one millisecond difference will not be noticeable between either of the routers now moving on to the actual speed testing for the data and the first thing is going to be the upload speed results now as you can see here the unmodified router was 30.9 megabits per second as far as its average for the upload was concerned and the modified router was 42.43 megabits per second as far as its average for the upload speeds was concerned now one thing worth pointing out here is that the unmodified router's average upload speed is actually quite good to start off with anyways so although we don't see a huge difference with the modified variation the actual starting point was actually quite good in the first place however when we move over to the download speed results we are now going to see much bigger differences and I would argue at this point and say that for most people it is probably an increase in download speed that they're likely to want to see as opposed to upload speed and also a better ping or latency and as we can see on the screen right now that is exactly what we get so with the unmodified router we are getting 42.1 megabits per second which has to be said is actually still a pretty decent result anyways however with the modified router and just the addition of that one little 5g antenna we are are suddenly at an average download speed of 347.3 megabits per second 
Okay, so to an end summary. And this should be quite short because as we just seen there, those speed test results were very conclusive. However, there are probably just a couple of things to mention here. Now, the first thing to mention is the fact that my results were very impressive and that is due to my location. What it is, the direction of my cell tower for where I pick up the 5G signal is not like very far away and I've also got a relatively clear line of sight. I mean, I don't have like straight clear ground to it and stuff like that, but it is good enough for me to get that difference with my signal, which then obviously boosts my speeds like the way that you just seen. However, it depends where you live and how far away you are from your 5G cell tower as to like, you know, what your results are going to be like, which basically means that your results could be worse or they could even be much better. It is just basically down to your location and such. Now, the second thing to mention, and it is just to reiterate that point that I made at the start of the video, and that is if you are not already getting a 5G signal when your router is like, you know unmodified and it's just using its normal internal antennas then like i said before it is probably not worth going to the expense of adding an extra antenna for the 5g now there are a number of reasons why that is the case and they are quite technical and maybe this video isn't really the right place to talk about that because it's actually quite a long involved subject however i will be doing some videos in the near future where i talk about things like that and things like you know why certain people don't get certain results when other people do and certain things that can affect why your 4g and your 5g signals either do or don't work really well or not and stuff like that but like i say if you don't already get a pretty decent or even a low level 5G signal with your unmodified router with its internal antennas, then I definitely would not recommend adding the extra 5G outdoor external antenna. And the last thing to mention here is that there will be links in the video description below taking you to router mods. And at router mods, you can get all kinds of like, you know, modifications, antennas, installation services. They do absolutely everything. Anyways, enough of all this talking. If you found the video, useful please do give it a thumbs up and if you are into this type of stuff although my channel isn't dedicated just to doing like router stuff and things like that i will have a link in the video description which will take you to a playlist called router mods which has all my stuff in it to do with things like this so that may actually be worth a subscription to the channel as well anywho i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now Thank <laughs> you.